fail. Um, I don't really talk about religion too much these days. As I've discussed, I, I find it generally boring to just, you know, this whole idea of uh, evidence is on this side, evidence is on that side. I mean, I'm pretty sure where evidence is myself being an atheist, but uh, debating it, it doesn't go anywhere in my opinion. Uh, but it's different when there's specific uh, institutions, religious institutions, which are doing something which I consider reprehensible. Uh, and unfortunately, I think the world's biggest religious institution is such a reprehensible uh, entity, and I just want to talk about this because I don't think I've talked about it before. And of course, I'm talking about the Catholic Church. Um, and I, I was raised Catholic. I had many good experiences um, with various Catholic community events and things where I come from in Germany. It's a it's kind of a it's a real part of the backbone of, of community just because it's traditional um, but I feel like the there's just too much wrong with the Catholic Church um, so recently you might have heard uh, breaking I guess for the last couple of months is this revelation that the Catholic Church was basically stealing the babies of unwed mothers um, and they're talking about hundreds of thousands or millions of babies having been stolen in this way and then given to different parents um, of course we all know about the constant sexual abuse um, that's uncovered in the Catholic Church I mean at this stage to, to say it's systemic is just stating a plain fact um, also there is uh, the long history of abuse at uh, various Catholic institutions for children, like Catholic orphanages, uh, especially. Um, and I guess that's uh, that. I think that that occurred in various places. It was probably worse in like Ireland and some other really Catholic countries like that. And there are some horrible stories that came out of that. Um, and then there is the consistent. Uh, pattern of the church then trying to cover up these things as hard as it can to deny 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 and then finally to offer some half-hearted apology uh, and really to not address the issue at all and to try to just move on like nothing had ever happened and I don't know I don't think this is Obviously, the Catholic Church is huge. There's like a billion Catholics, and it does stuff all over the world. Uh, but this, this stuff is so widespread, and it happened on such a large scale, that I don't think the size of the Catholic Church is an excuse anymore. Uh, so you have to think about the Catholic Church like any other organization. What would you do with an organization that is uh, charitable in nature, but that has a a terrible history of child abuse and child theft um, and all of these terrible things even if it's also done some good things and I think the honest answer is it would be shut down uh, it you know maybe like there were people would be arrested it would be shut down maybe there would be a successor organization um, that would come under new management but this organization could not continue in that form. But because it's a church, because it's the Catholic Church, not only ha has it continued to exist, not only has it continued to get huge amounts of donation, um, tax-free, but it's also gotten and still gets big government support in different countries. Um, well, everywhere it operates, really, it gets lots of money from the government and I just um, I don't know I don't I don't want to be coming across as being anti-catholic and you know Catholics get lost I want to I want to destroy everything you you care about not at all but at the same time I think it's important to kind of apply a secular just an ethical standard that should apply to everyone to the Catholic Church and under this standard the Catholic Church is beyond redemption as it stands now now there were various opportunities for a, um, a kind of a rebirth of the Catholic Church um, 
and none of these opportunities have been utilized. I mean, the election of Ratzinger as the new pope was just one of the uh, opportunities where there could have been a move forward in a progressive direction um, that wasn't taken. Um, Ratzinger himself having been in involved in various cover-ups. And there's a continuous pattern of the church not learning its lesson and not moving forward. And I think it's come to the stage where pressure should be exerted on the Catholic Church, um, real pressure uh, from the government, but also, and I'm talking to any Catholics that may be watching this, from Catholics. Um, now, being a Catholic myself, I know how the whole thing works. The Pope's supposed to be the guy from God and all of that, and the Catholic Church, obviously. Um, since the Pope speaks for God, he and he's always right when it comes to doctrinal issues and all of that stuff. But just look at it from an ethical standpoint. Is this stuff excusable? Has the Pope done enough? Has the Vatican done enough to address the situation, to fix the situation, to reimburse victims, to undo the damage? And I think it's quite clear that it hasn't. In that case, if you're a member of the Catholic Church proper, if you donate money to the Catholic Church, it is going into this monolith, which is, uh, to me, that, that would be very worrying if my money were going there, because you are supporting all of the rest of it. And this isn't guilt by association. No, you're contributing to an entity that has done and is doing these things. So you are actually contributing to a very um, to a to a or to a, to an organization that is um, that is quite vile uh, and I think you know it's we talk about there's been the criticism of modern Muslims why don't they protest more against terrorism and I think many moderate Muslims have which is why I think uh, the criticism is sometimes a little misguided, but in other cases it is justified. You know, people don't tend to call out their own enough, and that's true for Muslims. That's true for you know, that's true for everyone, quite frankly. That's true for left wingers, right wingers, whatever. But I think it's time for Catholics uh, to call out their church and to put pressure on their uh, on their their local church so that that can put pressure on the bishops so that the bishops can put pressure on the Vatican um, because there needs to be change and the Vatican isn't interested in change if you are if you're one of the probably majority of very progressive Catholics that make up the church then you should not be satisfied with the state that the church is in uh, in my humble opinion, as an outsider, it's true. Uh, but you should have more of a say, because surely you know right from wrong, and you know what the Catholic Church has done has been very wrong in many instances over a long period of time. Um, and when it comes to ethical standards, on a on a basis of um, of secular values, or when it comes to God's standards, surely something must be done to prevent human suffering because it's not okay according to either standard. Um, and so, I mean, this is yeah, that's really what I wanted to say. I I don't have any easy solutions, and obviously, the Catholic Church is so big that any pressure exerted would have to be tremendous to really force any kind of change. Um, but I think it's also a matter of self-preservation because there will be a time when people will have had enough. And obviously that time has already come in France, in Germany, in part, lots of Europe, where people are turning away from the Catholic Church in droves, record numbers, are uh, leaving the Church. And that is because of this, um, this attitude that the Church has had uh, regarding change. So, 
you know, if you're Catholic, I think you should bring this up. You should go to someone and you should try to try to make them aware of your concerns about the church, if indeed you share them, uh, the kind of concerns that I've laid out. And if you don't share the concerns I've laid out, why not? Why is this kind of stuff justified under the under the umbrella of the Catholic Church when it would never be acceptable uh, for any other organization um, to behave in such a way uh, and then to just be excused for that?